हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माय चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट सो दैट यू विल गेट नोटिफिकेशन वेन एवर आई एम अपलोडिंग एनी न्यू वीडियोस इफ यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो दैट मींस यू वांट टू क्रैक दी स्नो प्रो सर्टिफिकेशन सो इन दिस सेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड लास्ट टाइम द अकाउंट एक्सेस एंड सिक्योरिटी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दैट टू मॉड्यूल ऑफ governance capabilities of snowflake in details today last time we saw the overview of the governance features so we discussed little bit about masking policies row access policies tag tag based masking policies classification access history and the object dependencies so in today's session we will see the masking policies and row access policies in more detail and i will going to cover these tags tag based masking policies and further in the subsequent sessions what is masking policy so masking policy basically created to mask the data of certain column for unauthorized users only that means if any user who does not have a particular role assigned to them to see the entire data they will not be able to see the entire data that particular columns will be masked so in this example you can see here there is a two types of roles one is authorized roles and one is uh, unauthorized roles so for a support role they will be able to see the entire data and unauthorized roles means the analyst they will be only able to see certain part of the phone number and there is no data visibility for the ssn and it is just showing the dot dots for them so this is how the masking policy when we applied in snowflake on a particular table the column data will be masked for specific roles only and this masking policy we need to explicitly apply to a table then only this will work otherwise all the other users if they have the normal access to that table they will be able to see the entire data so this is the second level of security we can apply so this masking policy we need to apply on the tables now we will see the row access policy what is row access policy in the row access policy it is clearly mentioned row access so certain rows access we can provide to certain roles that means all the rows will not be visible to some users that means in this example you can see the data is divided based on the region so any user who is having the apac region role they will be able to see only the data for apac region any user who is having the access for us region they will be able to see the data only for the us region similar way if particular user who is having both the role assigned they will be able to see the data for apac and us both and if any user we have not assigned any uh, uh, role to them they will not be able to see any data in those tables so in row access policy if we not explicitly assign any role to any uh, a particular user they will not be able to see data they will just be able to see th only the table name and there will be no data retrieval for those users so this is another second level of security based on the rows the previous example was on the column level and this is on the row level now we will see how we can implement this in the snowflake by the demo so let's move to the snowflake screen this is the example for dynamic data masking here first we are using the user admin role and creating a custom role called masking admin role then we are allowing this masking admin role to uh, create masking policy on the schema of data masking data we are allowing it and for that we are using the security admin role here now we are also uh, uh, granting the access for applying masking policy on the account to the masking uh, admin masking role so now our masking admin role is ready and we can create the policy and also we can apply the masking policy on the schema and the account i am assigning this role to myself so that i will be able to perform those uh, statement now what we are doing i am in the 
data masking and data schema so i am just dropping the existing table now what we are doing here we are creating the masking policy this is a email mask so what it is doing it it will mask the email ids okay if the current role in account admin okay so this data will only be visible to the account admin if the current role is in account admin then the value will be shown otherwise the star star will be visible to the other users means if you do not have the account admin role if you are checking the data on the particular table where we will apply this masking policy you will just be able to see dot dot in that case for that particular column so here by using creating this masking policy we are only allowing admin uh, uh, account admin to see the data so now i am creating this policy i am just simply creating because we already dropped that customer table i am just creating the sample table from the uh, data set shared with the snowflake so i am creating the table on also just listing down the five rows from that table okay now what i am doing i am altering the table to assign the masking policy with this table so currently you can see i am using the security admin role okay and you can also see here when i am running this star uh, select statement query i will i am able to see the email ids let me assign this masking policy to this table so the policy is assigned now if i run this query okay the same i am using the security admin role and i am trying to see the data in the customer table now you can see the email id is not visible to me why because that email masking policy is only allowing the account admin to see the data now if i change my role to account admin you can see my role has changed and if i execute this select statement on the query i am able to see the data for the email id so this is how the masking policy works and we can mask the data of certain columns in a table and on that table level we need to apply the masking policy so that is all related to the data masking now we will see on the row access policies this is the example for row access policies so in the row access policies as we have seen in the example we are going to create three users and then we are assigning the row access policy to the certain user and then we will see how the data visibility in a table will change as per the user role so let me drop all these and uh, create it again yeah so i am creating the three users one is for the eu region one is for ap region and one is for us region and also i am creating the one schema called security okay now we will assign the warehouse database and schema access to the these users so allowing first the eu user then apac user and also the us user so this is the important part where first you are creating the users and access allowing the access to the particular warehouse then the database and also the schema now the user all three users have equivalent access to the security schema if we are creating anything we will be able to means all three users will be able to see the data for all those so let me assign one user to myself so i am assigning myself the eu region manager so now what i am doing i am creating one table in the security schema for sales so the table is created now i am adding three records in this sales table now the three records are inserted and i am assigning the grant access to all the three users so now so i already have that uh, user access right so let me just use this role as a sales manager eu now if i run this query where i am selecting the data from the secure uh, security dot sales that means from the sales table i am able to see the data for all three region why because i have not created any 
row access policy and I have not assigned it to anyone. Correct. So what I can do now, I can create one policy and by that policy, I can restrict the access of rows to certain users. Now what I'm trying to do here, this is one of the uh, lookup table kind of where I will be giving the sales manager and the region name. So to which user they can access the which region. This is I'm here uh, doing here and inserting the data for that. So the EU manager will be able to see data for EU region, AP region, sales manager will be able to see for AP and same for the US. So now this is the mapping tables we can say. So first our policy will see the mapping in this table and if the particular user is allowed to access certain data, it will be filter out the data for that based on the mapping we are providing here. Okay. So now we are creating the row access policy. What it is trying to do, it is going to check the current role. If the current role is sales manager admin. So I have given another admin role. If it is admin role, then also it will be able to see entire thing. Okay. Or if it is exist in the sales manager region. So this is my mapping table. You can see here if it is available here and the sales manager equal to current role. Okay. So we need to see this sales manager if it is falling to anyone, right? So if this is sales manager EU, it will return the EU region data. Okay. Based on this masking policy, row access policy. Okay. So I'm creating this policy. Now the policy is created, but if I check the data still, I will be able to see all the record. Why? Because I have not applied this policy to the table. Okay. Now let me apply this policy to the table. So I am assigning this policy and I have only this EU role, right? Now I'm again using this role and let me see the data, how it will looks like. Okay. So you can see, I'm able to see only the data for EU. Okay. Let me check the uh, change the role here. Suppose if I'm using the account admin role, okay, that this is a super user role kind of, right? What will be the output of this query? You can pause the video and write your answer in the comment. Let me know. Okay. But let me show you. You will not be able to see any data. Why? Because on this table, this access policy is applied and account admin role is not ma uh, mapped in this mapping. So the current role is account admin and for account admin, there is no data visible because of this masking policy, uh, the row access policy. So this is how the row access policy works in Snowflake and we can apply the another level of the security feature or the data governance feature into our Snowflake table. Let me know how this session is helpful to you and also provide me comments on my past sessions. How do you like those sessions and what all things you want me to cover in those sessions? All right. Thank you for watching.